All right, so just a quick one. I just wanted to show you guys uh, a few things I forgot to mention in the previous video, uh, finishing off this tire. So uh, I remember mentioning uh, there was a, a, what do you call it, a merging point over here we, we didn't get rid of, okay? So after we finished the tire, I forgot to tell you guys to, after we applied the modifiers, I forgot to tell you guys to remove doubles, which in this case will be to select everything and then press Alt and M and choose Merge by Distance. So when you do that, I've already done that, so you can see it says removed zero vertices. But we had uh, about 71 vertices going from here all the way to the back. So when I removed, when I merged by the distance, it got rid of those 71 vertices, and then I have no more. I mean, no more, uh, no more seam over there again. So everything is merging perfectly. So just in case you forgot to do that, just just um, do that. Select everything and press Alt and M and choose merge by distance, and be sure to increase the uh, merge distance by some smaller amount okay so just drop it down maybe add a zero to it or something just so it doesn't uh, affect the other vertices around it like that and uh, yeah so that was the first thing that I didn't mention the second one was the uh, the wheel nuts I actually modeled a new one uh, in a previous video where we created a wheel nut I actually just used a bolt factory to create the wheel nuts but I actually made this one myself because uh, I thought it looked better as you can see it's just a simple uh, wheel nut and how I did this was that's what I want to show you guys right now how I did this was I actually added in let me move let me bring my 3d case over here okay so assuming this 3d case is over there where we put in the uh, the wheel nut all I did was I added in a mesh a mesh circle so I got to the right view like this and and I added in a mesh circle and I brought this up and reduce the sides to six like this and come on so I reduced the sides to six and all I did was I scaled it down like that scaled it to about the size of the wheel nut so let's say this is the size of the wheel nut and then all I did next was I pressed E and then X and extruded this back to here and after that what I did was I got to this side again added in another circle and this time I increased it to 10 alright so I added in the number of vertices to be 10 and I scaled that down to fit into the circle like that so all that I did was I scaled this up I pressed F and then I inserted a face no hold on not inserted I filled the face and I pressed E and extruded this up to this point and before inserting the face and then I pulled this up like this to about this point like that and then I added in two in here, pressed Alt and S, and then shrinked it out like that. And then I took this one, I pressed I, inserted it once, I again inserted it twice like that. And then I came over here, I took all of this, I pressed F, and then I pressed I to insert the faces a little bit like that. And then I again to insert it to bed again like that. And I pressed X to delete the faces. So after that I took all of these, I took all of these as well, pressed F, and I pressed I to insert the faces to about this point, press I again, insert the faces to here, and then press X and delete the faces. So I got over here, I took all of these edges, I went to edge select mode, took all of these edges over here. So you can see the edges that I'm selecting. <coughs> I took all of these edges and then I press Ctrl B and then bevel this and added in about about four in the middle like that up to this point like this. So you can see how that is looking. And then I went in here, I added in two or three. I added in three. Uh, actually, I'll go with two. So let's add in say two. All right. So I added in two on each side over here, like this. Two each, like that. And I took all of these. Actually, I think this one might actually be too small. So let's get rid of this again. And then let me select this one and press Shift and S and add in a mesh. I mean choose Kezza to select it and let's get to the side and add in another circle again this time we're going to use a much bigger value so something like a 20 like that and then let's scale it down let's scale it down to fit it in just like the first one like about here so just slightly below that one over there and I'm going to press E and then X extrude this all the way here and I'm going to press F press I to insert it and I want to pull it in the X axis like that press Ctrl and R through here add in 2 Let's press Alt and S and shrink this out like this. Now I'm going to take this one and press I to insert it like that. And then I again to insert it like that. And now all that I did was I took all of this, took all of that, and pressed Alt and F, then Alt and J. Like that, as you can see. 
and then I went over here all I did was I took let me just press control and R I added in one in here and actually let's undo this first okay so here's what I did real quick come on come on come on alright so here's what I did first okay so I took all of this edge over here and I pressed E and an S and scaled it out first okay before taking these and pressing Alt and F and Alt and J just so we have a supporting edge loop down there like that and then I press Ctrl and R through here and move this down to this point and then I took this one and press Ctrl and B and beveled it just like that just to have that bevel going on down there and then I took this one as well hold on and this one <coughs> and then I press Ctrl B and I beveled these ones as well quite as much like this as you can see and then I went over here I just took one of these vet I mean these circles over here I press shift in D and then X and then I moved this all the way here I scaled it down and then I went to vertex select mode took one of the one of these vertices like the active element and I changed the pivoting point to active element pressed S and then X and typed in zero just so it's on the same level as that and then I took all of that edge over here and pressed alt and F and then alt and J and I took this one, I pressed E and then S. First, let me change the pivoting point back to median point and then S. And I scale this in to about this point. And then I pressed E and then X and move this all the way here. And there we go. So all that I did next was click on object and select shade smooth. And you can see that gives us all wheel knot. So if you want, in case you were wondering how I did it, this is just how I did it. It wasn't anything too complicated. Hopefully you can also get it right. But that would pretty much do it for this video. And uh... I won't be making any more videos tonight, so you would have to expect more videos tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.